It's shortly after dawn in the small fishing village of Kailua-Kona on the big island of Hawaii. This is the 19th running of the Gatorade Ironman Triathlon, and in all these years it has become one of America's great sporting events. Due in part, perhaps, because its images, as cool as they are, are familiar to us all. But one of the most lasting images is that special look that all the competitors have in their eyes, from first-timers to the great champions when they enter the water, because they know there's a lot that can go wrong out there. Especially if you're the target of every elite athlete in this race. As he kisses the salt water, his mind must fight to forget about the one who is feared by everyone. And here, in his weakest exercise and wearing number two, is Mark Allen. He's already locked on to Welsh. Greg Welch is only three seconds ahead of Mark Allen. After all that swimming, one little mistake here, and it's instantly gone. Field tanks loaded, feet getting buckled in. Greg Welch is away and up the hill. The cheers for him die down, and then there are more behind him. That's when he feels the presence of Allen still right there. After his voluntary sabbatical, Mark Allen is back in his playground of the lava fields, where he laid the foundations to his wins between 1989 and 1994. His main concern is thought to be the Australian Greg Welch, the plucky winner of a year ago. Mark Allen says that the Ironman has won or lost during the run. But this brutal win makes everything so unpredictable. Zach and Hellregal are already out of sight. The blur of the heat can't hide the fact that Hellregal has selfish intentions. His lead is 30 seconds over Zach and growing. Remember, there is no speed limit on the Autobahn. On this crowded road, the chase pack contained Mark Allen and Greg Welch, but they're now a minute and a half behind Hellregal. Here he comes, Germany's Thomas Hellregal, doing his first ever Gatorade Ironman, leading off the bike. Hellregal's performance defies description. The great Hawaiian crowd knows it, and Hellregal knows it. His time of 4 hours, 29 minutes and 37 seconds is arguably the best ever performance in the bike section, just two minutes off the record on a grim day. Imagine what's going through the minds of Mark Allen and Greg Welch and every other rider in that chase group. Go. And then there is Thomas Hellregal. He exited the swim five minutes after the favorites and then became Stephen King, riding an Ironman shocker as he dusted the field, building a 13-minute lead on the bike. For him now, the marathon is a mile old. The best one he's ever run? A 2.57. Respectable, not fast. Waiting in the bike transition for the Allen Welch group, fans in the know check their watches. Down by 13 minutes plus. Is victory still possible? Their marathon best times, even that of Raina Mueller, were better than Hellriegel by about 13 minutes. This race could go down to the final inch. He's a three time finisher. There's Mark Allen. There's Greg Welch. It's 13 minutes since Hellriegel left. And Mark Allen, usually confident and in charge, is finding what a difference a year makes. Now, Jurgen Zak made his annual bid to crush the field in the bike ride, and instead, a countryman had crushed him. Zach is now firmly in the sights of Mark Allen, a champion fighting out of the corner Germany has pushed him into. The coolest runner in the business is being tested to the full. With the heat intense and still no sign of Hellriegel, Jürgen Zach is the immediate attraction to Mark Allen. His relentless and consistent pace has systematically killed off those ahead, one by one. Not yet halfway through the marathon, Allen has climbed from fifth to second. And you know Zach needn't look over his shoulder. Not anymore. His bike ride is again not been good enough. It's called the Energy Lab. 
an overly scientific name for what's really an oven fueled by lava rock and an angry sun. Historically, this is a big U-turn where the Iron Man crown is won and lost. Thomas Hellriegel's 13-minute lead is now less than five. But Mark Allen has only nine miles left to pull off what would be the greatest comeback in Ironman history. Thomas Hellriegel is experiencing the loneliest day of his life, and now he faces up for the first time to the man who is haunting him. Mark Allen was once almost 14 minutes back. Like a robot in perfect control of his functions, Allen has moved in. He's just three and a half minutes behind. Five titles in a row before taking last year off. And now he returns this year for what his wife said will be his final time. Mark Allen has chased Thomas Hellriegel for nearly six hours with patience few of us know. Cat and mouse means cunning, tortoise and hare slow and steady, fox and hound respect an eventual victory. They're all alive right here on a road called Queen K. Mark Allen's done much in his career, but nothing equals this. Barring the unimaginable, Mark Allen has just pulled off the greatest comeback in the history of this event. They should probably give Mark Allen a piece of a Lee drive, because after all, he does own the road. Earlier this week, he said he had a feeling something incredible was going to happen come race day, and he wasn't sure that it would involve him, but it would be amazing. Well, it did, and it has been. Get ready. Former triathlete Julie Moss with son Matt waits for dad at the finish. A lot of people questioned his return after a year off, and, and people do become beatable someday, don't they? Well, they all gave it their best shot. Hellriegel, Zach, Mueller, Later, Welch, and they all failed. Six Ironman championships. That'll tie the men's record of Dave Scott. And if this is Allen's final Ironman, he is leaving on top of the game. He said that in every other Ironman he's run, he ran out of anger, feeling he had to prove something or to fill some hole in it.